what are you um, spraying? Put it in the Yamalu bonding engine. Help protect it from corrosion. They say it's the only stuff to actually use. And you just spray the whole engine, pretty much. All of this is a silicone based spray. It's the only thing that they recommend you doing. All the nooks and crannies? Yeah, I'm just looking. Mostly want to get the bolts and stuff. And that's it. I used to use CRC before Yamalube had stuff. We would spray the whole engine. My parents, that actually used to be my job. And my parents, which they trusted me with that job. Of course, my dad would wash the engine, but I got to CRC it. And I would even spray the outside of the engine, the cowling and everything. When we sold that boat, that engine looked like it was brand new. Well, look at that, it looks brand new. That's cause it is. Now, what are you doing now? Oh my, my goodness. Lines, so. It's clean. Oh my goodness. So tell me a little bit about the power pole. That's the best thing since sliced bread. That's all I gotta say about the power pole. That shit goes up, goes down, goes up, goes down. It's got the best customer service. That's what I'm talking about. Who needs anchor? I don't need anchor. Well, if you're deep, you will need the anchor, but this is pretty neat. We've never had it before. So this is what you're using, and you said that this is the only thing that Yamaha wants you to use on the engine? Yeah. Did they tell you that? Well, it's in the manual, I believe. You read the manual? <laughs> Somewhat. So tell me about the trim tabs. Uh, they're Bennett trim tabs. I had Linko on the last boats. I actually do like the Bennett's better. The Bennett's respond a lot quicker. Um, there's no lights that light up to tell you where you're at with the trim tabs on the dash. Hmm. So what, you feel it? On the console, I mean. But in reality, you don't really need it. They're just a lot more responsive. I mean, they move a lot faster. Okay. Which is a good thing. Right, so the engine is nice and clean. And Yamalut. We did decide to go with the 115 on this boat. Um, the 115 is plenty, 44, 45 miles an hour top speed with just my wife and I in the boat. That would be the camera girl. That would be me. And uh, my only complaint is that it does take some trim tab to get it up on the plane quickly. I'm sure the 150 does much better out of the hole. But other than that, the weight of the boat is so even with the 115, it's just a better match in my opinion for this boat. And not only that, um, so it can fit in the garage? Yeah, the 150, I think the- I mean, look how close we are. The platform was another four inches taller. And um, we needed the platform to fit through the garage door opening. And so if that you notice, was another reason, but I do have to say that the boat sits pretty when yeah. she's in the water. She sits flat. And leveled. And that was more important to me anyway. And then we put the light down. The little light right there. Oh, uh, the anchor light? Yeah. Yeah, our running light. I'm on my tippy toes, by the way, so I'm, <laughs> I'm shaking a little. But it was a close call. Plus, we have to put the power pole down in order to fit. If not, it will hit the top of the garage. But it fits. It fits. And we'd be happy. Can I get on it? Yep. I just wanted to show how close this was. 
and there's more space right here, it actually goes down a little bit more. If I could only have him do housework. I mean, look at this, nice and clean. I'm surprised you're not using Q-tips. Oh, shh. He's gonna bring it. He's gonna bring it, because he has Q-tips. I have big Q-tips. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you use that for the motorcycle. Yeah. Do you still use the Q-tips? No, they suck. Oh bit about the straps because when you first saw them you were like wow this is pretty cool oh, nice thing about the straps it's is it short yeah, quick and to the point and it's right there and we oh. had the other ones remind me of the other ones they were the other ones we had regular straps they just weren't hooked to the trailer so you had to actually wrap them up and yeah this they were is fine they did the trick this way is just a little bit more easy. It's just simple. It's all about keeping things simple, right? Yep. All right, so we're going to give you a quick tour of uh, the boat. Yep. See all the space it has. and. So we got a Minn Kota Terra Taroba up in the front. This was installed by Eric at Custom Marine Concepts. Uh, we'll probably put his phone number. Yeah, we'll put the in the uh, in the bio. In the bio, he does awesome work. They call him the Tie Rat King. Uh, so he did the installation of the trolling motor. It's through bolted. There's a backing plate that's on it, so you don't have to worry about any of that. I'm gonna have the wire running through the anchor locker and into the plug over here onto the side. Obviously, I did not get an anchor hanger, and the anchor that I have is a little bit too big for this boat. So I kind of have it sitting on towels right now just to keep it nice and secure. Um, but that's one of the changes that they made for 2021 is they gave us an anchor locker, which is very nice. Moving on back, we have... Mine! This is my storage with a gas shock, which holds it up, which Annette loves. Um, there's only one downside to this compartment and that there's no drain. We and learned that the hard way. There's drains in the gutters. So technically it is a dry storage, but we find that when we're washing the boat and we're shooting water down inside. We're putting like we're sandals. Putting, we're putting water inside the hull and it does not drain. Yeah, and then a mistake that we made, we went ahead and uh, I put a towel that had some sand in it and uh, the, you know, it didn't wash away. So lesson learned. But it's, it's, a, a, big, it's a big compartment. Super big. Everything we, I need can fit in here. And, and we put a Yeti hopper, the Yeti hopper 30. Yeah. Uh, soft cooler in there. And we make that our human compartment. Yeah, this is for, this, this is for the ladies. I'm telling you right now, towels. This angle here is where my bait and where I store the ice. And we also stuff. had Castaway Customs come in and do the sea deck on the side of the uh, gunnels. I did not want carpet and I wanted black since his theme is white and black. Um, I did the diamond to match the diamonds in the uh, cushion over here. Um, I also did it on top. Hold on one second of the platform up here came out really 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 nice and it's not as hot as what you think it would be there she is not the plan not the plan <laughs> um so that's something that we added uh we did jl audio speakers they're the 8.8s and they thump we have an amp in the uh, console and uh, they do a really good job of really I'm not gonna lie being we kinda, too loud. We kind of have a party in the garage. 
I've become that guy. And he's that guy. That guy. You and know. That, and that kind of sucks. That I don't want to be that guy. No, don't be that guy. But if I want to be louder than everybody else, I could. Yeah, he could. But don't be that guy, please. No, no. It's just the option. And then over here. Well, we did the uh, the black powder coating, but we went with the matte black. It's almost like a rhino liner in a way. Um, I really like it. We get compliments from everybody on it. It's wonderful. I really like it. Doesn't We've never show, had it before. Doesn't show fingerprints. No. It dries nice. Um, very easy to maintain. And the key to having a boat, in my opinion, is keeping it simple, stupid. And, um, what does that mean? Come on back. The less things to break, the better. That's what that means. We did the navigational lights. Now we did the rubber rub rail instead of going with the stainless steel insert which goes in the middle number one i like the black look um, i could have done the black with the uh, stainless steel insert but i went all black i just think it's again more simple less to maintain less to rust plus when you have the stainless steel rub rail it doesn't matter how soft you put it up against the dock or so that rubbing will scratch up the uh the stainless where the rubber will always look like rubber so they put their navigational lights like this inside the steel or the stainless steel part since I have the rubber they did it on the rubber and then I had them powder coat this to match so it literally blends in I have it on both sides and it's yeah you really a nice can't, little touch you can't tell that there's a light there otherwise like go ahead and turn it off I mean, it does blend in, other than it's obvious now because you're looking for it. Eric at Custom Marine Concepts, he installed my Simrad, uh, new for 2021 on the Hughes 18 Redfisher is the console. The console is much wider. This is a 12 inch uh, NSS Evo 3. Uh, having the nice 12 inch is it's beautiful, especially I'm running the uh, FMT chart, which as you can see, it's satellite imagery that they laid over the top of charts. And you could really zoom in nice and find, you know, your flats. You could find potholes. It's really nice. And everywhere there's a red line, it's, you could travel. Everywhere there's a black line, you travel on high tide only. So in Caesars Creek on the outside, there's these two little channels that you could get through across the flat that I, I knew were there, but I didn't know, you know how to travel it. So it's a shortcut. Instead of having to go all the way out to the end of the channel, I could take a shortcut through here and the FMT chart allows me to do these shortcuts without having to worry about hitting bottom. Uh, it makes the novice boater a great boater. Um, I was a Garmin guy and um, I switched to Simrad because of this chart. I mean, the FMT chart is that good. Eric at Custom Marine Concepts, he did the install. Beautiful install. He installed my stereo, my speakers. Um, I have three batteries in the console. Uh, they all fit. I have a battery charger off to the side here that I plug in. Keeps my house battery and my two trolling motor batteries nice and charged. And I don't have to worry about anything. It's beautiful. So on the seat, there's a cushion that lays across here now. You plug them into the holes and it allows you to grab your handle and move the seat up with the handle. It's a huge storage in here. I put a chair in there. It goes from one side, from the port side to the starboard side. A lot of storage. That's where I keep my uh, oak man overboard bag, life preservers, EPIRB, and everything in there. This is my area. Then we have the live well here, which is self-explanatory. Nice big live well smells so nice when it's new. Jeez, I wish that smell would last forever. That's TMI. <laughs> and then on this side, 
you could actually have this plumbed for a, a release well. I did not. Uh, like I said, I wanted to keep it simple, stupid. I don't need an extra live well. Uh, so I use it as dry storage, or I'm gonna use it as a fish box. If I catch something big, I'll throw ice in there. And then the last box that we have is your rigging station box. And this is your power pole, your bulb, fuel water separator, and then you can get into the hole there or in the back to get down into your bilge. Another thing we had uh, Maverick Boat Company, uh, Maverick Boat Company do is we had them weld on rod holders instead of having clamps. We had to weld them on. Just a cleaner look, in my opinion. They're nice to have. You want to troll. You want to put a bait out back while you're up in the front fishing. So that was something extra that we had them do. So we lower the engine because it wouldn't fit if the power pole was up all the way. The one thing that we didn't know that came with these speakers are lights. And they're awesome. They really are. They look great. They match the courtesy lights. The lights in the hatches are all blue. I'm gonna turn off the lights real quick. Thank you, Eric. Yes, Eric, thank you. Hold on, let's turn off the lights. Nice, this is where the party's at, right here. I don't wanna put music, cause... Can you get the side panels or no? Look how cool it is in there. And it's like Christmas. It's, it's Christmas here and then party over here. I like it. Really cool. Yeah. But I keep saying that. <laughs> but I do mean it. Wow. Okay. 